Here's the Gek. Our bargain is complete. As promised, yeah, here's the Gek. I hope it's worth it. Uh, I'm afraid this is where you and I part company. I'll find my way out of this place. Don't worry. Maybe we'll meet again somewhere in the, the wasteland. Objective is secured, sir. Good work, soldier. Make sure the Gek is secured aboard my Vertibird. Yes, sir. I'll have the text come down and remove it immediately, sir. You're certain he's unharmed? Yes, sir. He'll pass out shortly, but we can revive him. Excellent. Prepare him for transport immediately. Right away, sir. So, oh, you're awake. Let's keep this nice and simple. You're going to tell me the code for that purifier, and you're going to tell me now. Technically, your father killed himself. His loyalties lay with the wrong people, and he paid the price. You, on the other hand, have an opportunity to learn from his mistakes. I'll be honest. I'm running out of patience here, and I'm not looking to play games with you. You tell me that code, or it's going to cost you. Why do you insist on provoking me? Tell me the code now. Mr. President, I have no time for other matters. I'll be with you shortly. Now, Colonel. Yes, sir. Ah, alone at last. I do apologize for Colonel Autumn's attitude. He's been under a great deal of stress lately. I've no doubt that you know who I am. I'm sure you've heard my radio broadcasts. I'd like to have a word with you face to face. I think there are a few things that you and I should discuss. You'll find your possessions in the locker near the door. I'll unlock the way for you. And I'll unlock your restraints as well. I'll be waiting for you in my office. Please don't carry. Hold it right there. You're supposed to be in that holding cell. You're not going anywhere. There's a full complement of guards in the next room. As soon as I get them, you're going back to your cell. In a body bag, if necessary. On whose authority? I have no records of that. 
You're supposed to be in a holding cell. Colonel Autumn is the only one authorized to see the President. Don't move. I'm gonna find out what's going on here. Attention, this is Colonel Autumn. You are hereby ordered to ignore the President's previous directive. The prisoner from Vault 101 is to be shot on sight. I repeat, shot on sight. This is an order.
I'm not entirely sure Eden... I'm not entirely sure Eden can be trusted. And I think he knows I don't trust him. But I don't think he knows I have the emergency destruct sequence for his console. Priority override. Authorization code 4200309 and boom. It'd have to be a last resort, of course, but at least the option is there. Open-minded of you. Kudos for embracing the reality of the situation, rather than railing against it. Let's get to brass tack, shall we? There are some things I'd like to talk to you about. Our nation's capital is at a crossroads. The path that you and I choose here today will affect us all. I need you to act on my behalf to ensure that our country's future is secured. My abilities to influence the world are limited at this time. I alone can only do so much. You, however, may come and go as you please. You have a greater degree of freedom. Perhaps it's best if I explain why things need to change and why I'd like you to act on my behalf. Our land is ravaged by mutation. The war was so many years ago, and yet we still suffer from its effects. We cannot move forward until humanity can gain a solid foothold in the world. To do so, we must rid ourselves of the mutations that have plagued us for so long. These super mutants, ghouls, hideous creatures. I believe your father's work can do that in a way unlike any other. Purify your father helped create has the ability to provide clean water to the whole of this capital wasteland. With a simple modification, it can be used to distribute agents that destroy mutated creatures upon ingestion. In time, we could eliminate all mutations in the wasteland. At the same time, the good people of the world regain their health. I need you to make the modification necessary for this to succeed. In front of you will be a vial of modified FEV virus. It can be inserted into the control console for the purifier. Doing so will inject it into the water supply and the purifier will take care of the rest. You just need the code to activate the purifier. Simple, isn't it? Excellent. I am pleased to know that I can count on you. There isn't much time. I suggest you travel there immediately. Once you've taken the vial, you're free to go. I'll do what I can to help speed your exit. Yes, 
Colonel Autumn, my trusted subordinates. I'm sure you've noticed that Colonel Autumn and I do not see eye to eye these days. Figuratively speaking, of course. The good Colonel and I disagree on how best to approach the problem of the wasteland. He feels my methods are too extreme. He's allowed his humanity to cloud his objectivity. And now that he is publicly countermanding my orders, I can no longer rely on him. And so I turn to you. I hope that you are able to see the larger picture, to understand what's at stake. And of course, if you're successful, there's a place for you in the Enclave. Perhaps you could succeed the Colonel as my confidant. Certainly. I think it's a very good plan, frankly. I'm not often one to praise my own ideas, but it's a creative solution to a very serious problem. Anyone or anything that has been affected by mutation will be eliminated. You will likely be immune thanks to your upbringing in the vault. Likewise, the good people of the Enclave will be unaffected as well. I understand that you may have become sympathetic to certain individuals in your travels. Individuals this will eliminate. Please recognize that the fate of our entire country rests on this plan. Sacrifices must be made for the greater good. A great many years ago, the remnants of the government had a similar idea. I can only assume the plan failed as I never heard word of its success. But the plan itself was sound. I made a few modifications, and with your help, I do believe it can work. There's a bright future ahead of us, my young friend. Ah, the forced evolutionary virus. Such a long and sordid history. The FEV in this vial is a far cry from what it was originally created to be. Yet. Little of that matters now. What does matter is that the virus contained in that vial will cause the eradication of all mutations. Is there anything else? Oh, come now. Bluffing is not really your style, is it? There's certainly no need to threaten me. I... Oh. Oh. My. Root level access granted. Override 0923. Authorization J512. Self-destruct sequence initialized. Civilian is requested to secure FEV vial and vacate the facility at once.
had survived, and I had hoped to assist in your rescue, to repay my debt to you. Yes, and the most fascinating one at that. Whoa, this technology is amazing. Imagine the evil that can be eliminated with such tools. I saw your capture, and a little cleverness allowed me to follow your captors. I only wish I could have arrived sooner to aid your escape. As I owe you my freedom, I felt it was only fair that I return the favor. After all, I know no one else in this world. My friend, I would be honored to follow a hero such as yourself. Shall we go? <laughs> <laughs> 